Hey. Good day, everyone. Welcome to my humble little garage. Here's my baby, the one and only. Oh. All right. What are we doing today? Well, there's been plenty of requests, mainly that rear wing, like all day, every day, and uh, a few about the uh, front splitter, whatever. So, first time ever, I'm actually gonna try to make something, kind of explaining what I did, and no racing today, which is or driving, cruising, whatever. Which is very unusual for me. <laughs> the time I turn the camera on is because the car is moving and the car is not moving today. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's see. So you guys know it's uh, Pacific Northwest and it's pretty cold up here. Where's my tape measure? The wing originally came all the way out to here, as you can see the previous holes. And then this curve wasn't a curve, it was just straight. Which, so it came all the way over to here. So at that point it would have been, I don't know, whatever. It would have been longer. I'm gonna measure that right now. It would have been longer. So it originally came all the way over here. and then it just went straight. And what I did, as you can see here, that groove mark, while it was on the car, I cut this curve by hand, freehand. I just took a marker, draw it however I feel it should be, and then cut it while it was on the car. And then that piece that I cut off, I took and put on the other side and lay it down and mark it and just followed it. So, that was the original placement. And as you can see these holes here, it originally came in more. So I took it off because I didn't like it hanging out here anymore. And then instead of having it curve out here, where is this curve here? I curved it to follow this line here. As you can see these little marks, this is with a hammer. All I did was took like a I don't have it right now, but I took a metal, I had a piece of square metal. And what I pretty much do, just to give you guys an example, we get a piece of cardboard or something. For example, let's say this is the wing, like this is the wing going across. All you do, you measure the 40. I got all the 42. Listen, I don't have to give you the exact number because at this point, all you have to do is just make it the width of the roof line, the gutter, the gutter, from gutter to gutter. Whatever that measures is what you have to do it at. So, whatever the measure is, that's where the bend's gonna be at. So let's say this, okay, is gutter to gutter. What I did with the metal then, is then I put it at the edge of the, uh, the metal piece that I had, the metal. Um, I mean, if you have wood, you can use wood too, but I, I pretty much just put it there. If the metal is soft enough to bend by hand, then go ahead. But this is stainless steel, even though it's thin, it's pretty strong. So what I did, I took the hammer. I need to mount this damn camera. Down. What I then did was like this, pretend that this is the metal piece, R, R, two by four, and this is the actual stainless steel, which I use R 
in your case if you use aluminum you pretty much just mark you mark let you know let's say this is the measurement of the gutters from here to here you know because the gutter of the roof because you're gonna get a piece that's longer than the roof and then you just mark a straight line real simple okay and you line it up and then you just get the hammer and just tap it slightly slightly to start giving you a bend that's if it's not soft enough to bend by hand which it probably won't because if it is then it's probably too thin so that's how i got those little uh hammer marks that i showed you earlier once you do that you repeat the same process on this on the other side really simple boom 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 you get your curve now what you want is you don't want to curve it all the way down to a 90 degree okay you want to start the curve so you bend it out I don't know half of that 45 degrees 45 45 90 yes I'm not, roughly whatever and the reason for that is as you can see here like this is not a full 90 degree you, you're trying to make it follow the roof line so as you bend it you just bend it okay now as far as where I place the wing it's up to you and as far as how long you want the wing that's all up to you okay you can place the wing up here 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 obviously you don't want to place it too far back because as you can see under here you know you don't want it to be at the tip of where the roof I mean the uh, windshield is so you just kind of place it a little far back so as you can see this little curve here just you know a little bit beyond that I had it back here I moved it back here wherever you want to place it point being when you place it what you're gonna do now is figure out the curvature that you're gonna have to cut now the thing about this once you figure out one side it's easier to figure the other side out so there's no real tricks for me to show you how to do that you're just gonna have to kind of figure it out yourself so it's a trial and error thing so all you do after you put it on here you place it on here which is like curves and then you kind of just cut cut the curve try to follow the curve as best as you can um, you don't want to go too aggressive you don't want to go too far back and then have the wing falling down so you want to cut a little and then place it and then kind of see how the wings gonna go because if you cut if I had cut this a little shorter like this when I place this then it would have angled the wing up but if I cut it too far out when I place the wing then the wing would angle down so that's something you're just gonna have to figure out as you go all right so that's that and once you get this side the way you want to the other side's pretty easy you just kind of repeat the process on the other side by like you know just kind of drawing out an outline somehow as far as this curves concerned again that's totally up to you like you could leave it straight which will be easy or you could just freehand how you want it cut it out and then repeat the process on the same side again that's it as for this little lip here that's optional again to you you could leave it straight I did the same process that I did with the metal like I put the tip I put the tip on here okay and then I use the hammer to just hammer that the curve into it that I want to and then just kind of straighten it out all right now that's as best as I can explain that um, the next thing is for you to just put it on now this is a race car so it's not pretty you get a look at it you can see rivets going across you can see little dings in it so if you're trying to build this to be pretty then you know you're gonna have to figure out a nicer way to do it um, this is just if you just want the look to be a razor. I don't know. For whatever purpose you want it for, just know that this is not no pretty smanky, dancy, whatever business. Um, the next thing to do is just rivet it on. Um, obviously, if you glue it or double side tape it or whatever you do, that's pretty much up to you because it's probably going to fall off. But for me, the rivets are not pretty but for my car it works because it's a race car so all I did as you can see it was just drill holes all across and the more holes you drill the better because the more sturdy it is as you can see this is sturdy for two reasons um, 
these the more you put on the sturdier it makes it right here if you notice I have no kind of support on it whatsoever because the whole concept is that it's downforce so it's gonna push it down it's not gonna really lift too much like I could force it up but it's not really gonna go up too much because of all these ribs here also supporting it I mean I could make a look a little bracket here or whatever but this works for me okay I don't have any issues with it the next main thing under here is this these two brackets that I made here which are what su supports the downforce now all that is is two L brackets okay and what I did was oh God, man. how can I explain this um, this is an L, okay? This is like an L bracket. I get it, and then what I did was I cut. It's probably the worst video I've ever made in my entire life. Um, what I did was, it's an angle. The roof line curves, and then the wing is straight. So you pretty much gotta figure it's kinda make a V point. So what I did was just start off by cutting again just kind of like cut, you know what I'm saying? Something where it's gonna look like this a little bit. So when I cut it, it looks like that, but it's actually an L shape. And then, oh, Jesus. it's really hard to explain stuff and shoot a video by yourself. I do everything by myself, everything. I want you guys to know I'm only doing this because people are asking me. I want you guys to know I'm only doing this because people are asking me. So this is not gonna be the best. Anyway. So you pretty much just put the L bracket in there with the curve. And then as you can see here, if you can look right there, you see how that kind of just supports the wing as I push the wing in like that. But obviously it's metal, so it's gonna be stronger. And that's it. And then, you know, you kind of trim it up as you need. Boy, you go here, you bore one, two holes, put your nut through, and then put your bolt, see, I got the, the nut right there, screw on top, and you just make one there and make one there, or make another one in the middle, however amount you need, I felt like I only need two, and then you, your down force is supported. I mean, for me, it's just that simple, I guess. But I'm Jamaican, so I'm used to making shit, because that's what we do over there. You don't have nothing, you just make it. You have to be creative, it just comes naturally. No offense to you guys. Anyway, so that's that's for the wing. Um, without actually making one, that's the best way I can explain it. There's been a few guys who have seen it on, on Instagram that have copied it to the best of their ability. I give those guys mad props for like just trying it. Because really, if you look at it, it's really simple. The good thing about this car is the whole freaking car is boxy, so it's easy to make anything for it because you don't have to have some fancy machine to make curves. You just kind of just follow the boxy line. <laughs>